<laughs> Natalie, are you so soured on love? Because this album to me says, uh, this is what I said to myself when I listened to it. Natalie's had it with fucking dudes. That's it. She's done. Like, she's just so pissed. Is that true? Are you never? I mean, with COVID, I guess you can't date. But when we get out of this <laughs> pandemic, are you open to the idea of romance? Or are you completely bitter? No, I'm not bitter at all. Um, I'm open to it. But I'm also, it's really hard to imagine because it's been over 20 years. <laughs> and so, I don't know. To even imagine it feels really strange like do i don't even feel like i know how to flirt i wouldn't know if someone was flirting with me i, I don't know what would i feel like like if some when when or if somebody makes a move but i'm definitely not closed off to it i'm closed off to marriage but you don't know you meet somebody great and you know you you kind of go well i really don't have a problem being with myself and this yeah. has been good this has been the longest stretch you know since i started having boyfriends or whatever, this is definitely the longest stretch that I've never had anybody. And I'm not upset about it. <laughs> no, you're not <laughs> flipping out. I wonder who you're going to be with. I think it's going to be someone famous. I think you're going to end it's up probably with... probably uh... going to be... Well, okay, I've got it narrowed down to two. Go ahead. Are you ready? Go ahead. All right. Look, Robin, Robin knows. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh. Every girl and... says that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And then um, Silver Linings Playbook. Bradley? Bradley Cooper. There you go. Yeah. I could hook you up with Bradley Cooper. He'll come over. <laughs> okay, right. All right. <laughs> now, after, suddenly after COVID's the out the window. All of a sudden she's uh, dating. No, <laughs> I, I, I'm not. <laughs>